This is a Tab 320 from New Camp RV and it has a few things going for it. Now there's different models. I'm gonna to talk to you real quick about the power and then we're gonna talk about how to keep up with what's going on with your battery system. Base package on a Tab 320 will have a 100 amp hour Battleborn battery. Now it will also, with that 100 amp hour battery, also have 180 watts of solar already ready to go on the roof. If you move up to the Black Canyon package, like this trailer has, then you will get significantly more solar power on the roof. You're gonna move up to 380 watts of solar. There are more things included with that Black Canyon package, but we're gonna focus on the energy side of things today. There is a next level up, and it is an upgraded Battleborn package, which gives you 200 amp hours of lithium ion batteries and also a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. All those are available, you can, you can compare and whatnot, but let's go inside, get our eyes on some of the equipment, and then after that, let's show you how you can keep up with how you're doing from an energy use and refilling standpoint when you're out and about. Let's go. Now I've already gone ahead and moved the cushions off the dinette so we could see underneath the seating. So trust me, this is a beautiful interior with great quality cushions, great space for seating. However, I do wanna focus on the power that comes in this trailer. This has basically what the standard package is for power on it in the battery department. Down here, I see one Battleborn lithium ion package battery and it is 100 amp hours and it has a self heating element in there for cold weather to make sure that when it gets below freezing, this battery can take a charge normally and also give you the power when you need it. So there's your Battleborn battery. It can be expanded if you level up in your power package, but we're gonna rotate over to the other side here in a second and show you how you can keep an eye on the health of your battery system, the health of the solar, and how much power you have to work with. Now I've moved over to the other side of the dinette. Again, so well built in these New Camp products, but let's dive into this space down here. I do see this little blue box in the corner. That is a Victron piece of equipment. And if you know your power management equipment groups out there, Victron is one of the top tier groups to work with, companies to work with. So that is a Victron Energy Smart Solar Charger Controller. And this one happens to be the MPPT 100 over 30. So 30 amps, what have you. And it is managing how power is flowing into your battery because if it doesn't flow in at the right amount and the right rate, it can cause damage to that battery. So that makes sure that your battery gets the power it needs at the rate it needs it to keep it healthy and strong. But there is no display on that unit to tell you how much power you have in your battery, how much you're using, how fast the solar is feeding the battery or your shore power or a generator or what have you. So let's dive into the way that you or I might be able to tell what's going on in that Battleborn battery when we're actually using our camper. So how are we gonna keep an eye on what's going on in our Battleborn battery? What's going on with our Victron solar controller? And how are those solar panels feeding the whole system? And what is our energy usage? Well, we're going to use a Victron app on our smartphone. You can get it for your Apple device or your Android device. So let me turn on the screen recorder real quick and I'll share what I'm seeing. The app is called Victron Connect. You can find it in your app store. And I'm going to go into a demo library here because this isn't my trailer. This trailer might be your trailer. So I'm gonna go in here to the demo library and I'm gonna go down to the piece of equipment that we talked about. It is a solar charger. And the model that we talked about is the Smart Solar 100 over 30. So I'm gonna go into it and you'll see that I have a very nice display of what's going on. And again, I'll put this on the screen. So in this demo, it's showing me exactly what it would look like if this were really in a camping setting and it's saying, hey, you might have 849 watts, which is mostly charged, and it'll tell me what my voltage is for my solar right now. And I think that this is 
pretty similar to what we're facing today because we have bright sunshine right overhead. It says that right now the solar is bringing in 36 volts at a current of 23.6 amps. That's pretty good and that will be charging your system. I dare say we could be running all the lights, the fan and the refrigerator, no problem with this much sunlight and still be bringing in more charge than we're using, therefore we would be charging. Obviously, if we turn off all the lights and the fan and, and just run the refrigerator without opening and closing it over and over again, we could charge that battery pretty darn quick. Or if we had the bigger Battleborn package with 200 amp hours of lithium ion battery, then still, more capacity but still charging faster if we are efficient with our usage now so solar panel voltage current shows very clearly here i'm going to scroll down we have battery we have voltage current and states and so that's that's kind of how it is storing and right now it says it's in bulk now i might want more granular information i'm going to click on this history tab and that's going to show me a really cool chart of the history of our usage, which is great to keep up with while you're on your trip. So we're going to scroll through and it'll tell you from day to day, today, yesterday, two days ago, three days ago, what our input was from solar or from whatever power source and what our usage was. And as long as you have more input than usage, you're doing pretty good, but it allows you to stay on top of that. Imagine if you're out there camping and you have this information at the ready, whether inside your camper or outside your camper, and you know, hey, I might need to be a little bit more efficient with my lighting or a fan, or I'm doing good, it's comfortable, set it and forget it, and we're good to go till evening or until the weather changes it can bring a real peace of mind. It's kind of like having your own version of range anxiety alleviated, no, no sweat. So lifetime total, since you've reset it, you have trends under here, lots to look at. So that's how you're gonna keep up with how your system is doing in your new camp trailer. Is your solar providing what you need? Is the battery holding what you need? Are you using your stuff efficiently? Well, pull out your smartphone, open the app, and you'll be right on top of it. Enjoy your travels. This has been a pleasure showing it to you. See you next time.